Welcome back to question two of this series where we relate density to crystal structure. We ended off with question two, and this question reads, chromium crystallizes with a body-centered cubic unit cell. Notice the difference between this question and in question one. That one was a face-centered. The radius of a chromium atom is 125 picometers. Calculate the density of solid crystalline chromium in grams per centimeters cubed. We'll be following the exact same steps as in question number one, and the first thing that we want to do to calculate the density is find the mass. Remember that density is a measure of mass over its volume. So let's find the mass of a single chromium atom. To do that, we'll be using the molar mass, and we'll multiply the molar mass by the reciprocal of Avogadro's number. So we'll have moles at the top and atoms at the bottom. That will end up giving us grams per atom. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll take 51, 0.99 and multiply it to this ratio right here where I have moles at the top and 6 decimal 0, 2, 2 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms at the bottom. And don't forget that this is grams per one mole. Notice what happens. The mole unit will cancel out leaving us with grams and atoms. Now remember, we're looking for the mass and here we have grams per atom. Since this structure is a body-centered cubic unit cell, take a look at the illustration. A body-centered cube looks like this, where we have one, two, three, four, four one-eighths, and also one, two, three, and one hidden behind, one-eighths. That makes up one atom. And we also have one atom in the middle. So we have two atoms per every cube. That being said, I'll multiply this product by two atoms. And by doing that, the atoms unit will cancel out, leaving us only with grams. In case you're confused, let's use our calculator to multiply this. 2 times 51.99 divided by everything at the bottom, which is only this number. Our answer should be rounded to four significant figures. So we have 1.726668. Now I'll keep as many numbers as I can because we're not done. I don't want to round anything right now prematurely and that will end up giving me a mistake at the very end. So I'll write down as many digits as I can times 10 to the power of negative 22. This number is in grams. Now we need to find the volume because remember density is a measure of mass per volume. To do this, we need to use this formula to find the edge length of a single unit cell. The formula here is four times the square root of three times the radius over three, and they've given us the radius. Now, in case you're curious as to how this formula was derived, an illustration of the math is shown on your screen. I'll take this number, convert it into meters first, and substitute it into this formula. The conversion of picometers to meters, as discussed in question number one, is right here. 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 12 meters. So with that being said, 125 picometers is the same thing as 125 times 10 to the power of negative 12 meters. And I'll substitute that right into there and use my calculator. So 4 times the square root of 3 times 125 times 10 to the power of negative 12 and that is divided by 3. We end up with an edge length of 2.8867 times 10 to the power of negative 10. Let me write that down. Now what's interesting about this number is that we can actually find the volume from this. Remember that a volume of a cube is length times width times height, or in other words, length cubed. So I'll take this number and cube it. Raise that to the power of 3, and I end up with 2.4056 times 10 to the power of negative 29. That right there is the volume of a single cubic unit. Let me write that down underneath. And the units for this number is in meters cubed. The answer that they want is in centimeters cubed. And the conversion of centimeters cubed to meters cubed is this. Remember that we have 100 centimeters per one meter. If we cube both sides, we end up with this. So we have 100 raised to the power of 3 centimeters cubed is equal to 1 meter cubed. So this is a simple conversion. I'll multiply this by 1 meter cubed at the bottom and 100 to the power of 3 centimeters cubed at the top. 
And what this will do is reduce our power down to negative 23. So we have the exact same number times 10 to the power of negative 23. And that will serve as our volume. And we'll take this number and divide it by the number that we just found. So let's go ahead and do that. On our calculator, we have 1.72666. And remember, our final answer needs to be three significant figures. Don't forget, times 10 to the power of negative 22. Divide this now by 2.4056 times 10 to the power of negative 23. And we end up with a density, rounded to three significant figures, 7.18. 7.18 grams per centimeter cubed. That is the density of chromium. And there you have it. That is how to relate density to crystal structure.